So, I might look a little different from the last time you saw me. Um, for this episode, possibly most of the episodes in the near future. Uh, I might have, uh, did a little bit of change in my appearance. Well, I'll show you what I mean. I draw on a mustache. Hey, I'm Jess Paul, very blonder Jess Paul, but Jess Paul all the same. And I've got to tell you guys that I think distance make the, makes the heart grow fonder, don't you think? Uh, I really missed you guys. Today, the first thing on the list of news is Lady Gaga's new album cover. Some say it's a hoax or a fan manipulation, but it's now being labeled as the newest and final image of the full-length album Born This Way. I'll just, I'll just have you guys take a look at it right now. I think that I understand why she thought it was a good idea, but it was kind of a fail. Sorry, Gaga. Usually you get away with m most everything, but not this time. What do you guys think? Actually, you can tell me by voting on Recreate.net's Rect Pull of the Week. This time it features four different album covers that we might have seen in the past. One, one or two might actually be fan manipulations, but you can vote on them either way. What would you like to be the cover for Born This Way? In video news, um, a lot of bands have released official videos for their music. The Arctic Monkeys have released Don't Sit Down Cause I Moved Your Chair. <laughs> I like that title. All That Remains uploaded a video for The Last Time and The Decemberists have released their video for This Is Why We Fight. Also, you can check out a Woe Is Me acoustic version performance of Fame Over Demise. In streaming, Lady Gaga has released all across the world her newest single called Judas. I talked a little bit about it on Recreate.net, and what I'm happy about is that it's a little bit darker, maybe like um, Bad Romance, something that's a complete 180 from the very, very poppy and very, very 80s synth uh, Born This Way. But I also hear this kind of imitation of Rihanna, at least that's what I thought. Maybe Gaga was going for something else, but I just want to say that Gaga, I'm really sick of you paying homage to these artists like Madonna, like Bowie, like all these other people. Just be yourself. I think that you should stick to playing Gaga instead of playing other people. That's my two cents. You can also check out the newest track from Family Force 5 called You Got It and Taking Back Sunday releases Best Places to Be a Mom. You can now pre-order Taking Back Sunday's newest self-titled coming out June 28th and you can see the full track listing below. You can now download a Man Overboard live album and some new songs from the Pinkerton area have been released from Weezer. One of the tracks is what we mentioned before on Wrecked Radio, which was I Swear It's Not True, and another one is You Won't Get With Me Tonight. And last in streaming, My Chemical Romance released an alternative recording for their song, their single, their hit, which everybody loves, Sing, and that is going to the Sing for Japan project. Like I've recently been doing for the last couple episodes, I have posted a full tour update on my site at recreate.net, and that includes some things like Glastonbury Festival, the Bamboozle Roadshow being cancelled, and all the Coachella stuff you would ever dream of via Spin Magazine. But I've got a new bandage to you guys. They are a pretty cool uh, band from England, and they've got a very cool introduction to show you. They are called Waiting for June. Introduce yourself, guys. <laughs> Hello from England everyone, this is Chris from Waiting for June. I'd just like to say a big thank you to Jess and everyone at Raked Radio for allowing us to play our new single, I Want You Back. It's available for download and the album will be out later on this summer. Chris. Yes, Colin. Who's the one? No. Chris. Yes, Colin. Okay. Just in case you stop waving. This is Chris.
off that I didn't get to cover while my uh, poor computer and all my video making technology um, you know, system was gone. Uh, we have a recent poll, like I mentioned about what is your favorite Lady Gaga cover uh, that, that could possibly be used for Born This Way. And last week's poll, or last week, whenever the last time I saw you was, um, was what is your favorite rock magazine? And the letter was, hands down, alternative press, or as some might call it, a I miss you guys. I'll talk to you later. Love, love, love.